hello everyone how are you today today we are going to discuss about another question regarding mrcs based on emrcs from now a series of lecture on Fazio sheets started we will discuss all the question of the Fazio sheets and uh, other question like emrcs and recalls so here is the question of Fauzia sheets number one question the pressure within the plural space is negative with respect to atmospheric pressure except for which of the followings that means plural space pressure is negative but for which it will be positive except what so first of all we have to uh, know about details about the pressure of intrapleural space and the different condition of which influence intrapleural spaces here the options options are at the end of expiration at the end of inspiration during a valsalva maneuver and if the patient has a tracheostomy when taking a deep breath so here, here is the uh, a picture we can see here, atmospheric pressure which is entering into the trachea uh, followed by uh, two bronchus and into the lungs and here we can see outside the lungs there are two, uh, two layers, between the two layers there is a species that is plural species. We can see just covering the lungs the layer we can see this is visceral pleura and outside which attached to this chest wall this is parietal pleura so between parietal and visceral pleura we can see a, a space here a, a space here this this is intra pleural pressure we can see this outer layer it is parietal layer and the inner layer visceral, visceral layer and between the parietal and visceral layer there is plural cavity and outside the parietal wall there is thoracic wall you can see here in the plural cavity there is air and there is some pressure we can see here this pressure is minus 4 millimeter mercury minus 4 millimeter mercury at the end of expiration so at the end of expiration interpolural space pressure is minus 4 millimeter mercury and it is minus it is negative relative to, uh, to the atmospheric pressure because we know atmospheric pressure is 760 uh, millimeter mercury and here interpolural pressure uh, 756 uh, millimeter mercury so after minus it is negative minus 4 millimeter mercury so here intrapleural space typically normally at the end of expiration its intrapleural pressure is negative and it is minus 4 millimeter of mercury and during inspiration we can see here this is the diaphragm here during inspiration diaphragm it gets down and pleura it is pull down parietal pleura and visceral pleura they are pulled down so their space become more larger and pressure drop minus 4 to minus 6 or minus 7 so during expiration it is minus 4 and during expiration uh, during inspiration it drop more negative minus 7 so at the end of inspiration and at the end of expiration in both cases intrapleural space pressure is negative here we can see another picture here showing this is lungs and outside lungs the white layer the two white layer outer layer which is close to thoracic wall this is parietal pleura and the inner part which is attached to the lungs it is 
visceral pleura and the pressure between the two pleural space is intrapleural pressure if we see here there is the inspiration at the beginning of the inspiration or at the end of the inspiration it is minus 4 so when inspiration starts the intrapleural space it drops and going down down and up to minus 7 in the at the end of inspiration at the end of inspiration the intrapleural space pressure minus 7 millimeter mercury and when inspiration ends then expiration starts and when expiration starts intrapleural pressure is increased and increasing increasing and at the end of the expiration the intrapleural space be come to the here and this is minus 4 so at the time of the expiration or at the beginning of the expiration or at the end of the expiration intrapleural space uh, pressure minus 4 millimeter mercury and at the end of the inspiration intrapleural space pressure minus 7 millimeter mercury so in case of inspiration and in case of expiration in both of the cases intrapleural space pressure is always negative at the end of the expiration it is minus 4 at the end of the inspiration it is minus 7 so intrapleural space pressure always negative here we can see a valsalva maneuver in valsalva maneuver the all pressure of the thoracic cavity we can see increase here we can see increase increase and lungs get expanded so outside the lungs there is pleural space and pleural space pressure also increases and it becomes positive we can see here what is valsalva maneuver the valsalva maneuver is performed by attempting to forcefully exhale while keeping the mouth and nose closed for this it increases the intrathoracic pressure to as much as 80 millimeter mercury so it is so high from the intrapleural pressure normally intrapleural pressure is negative but intrathoracic pressure in case of valsalva maneuver it increases and it reaches up to the 80 millimeter mercury and at the same time the intrapleural pressure also increases for a certain level here we can see in the picture that is the larynx larynx is closed that is chest muscles just outside the parietal pleura here the lungs this box you can see it is very functional diagram you can see this is the lungs it represents the lungs it represents lungs and the diaphragm here and abdominal cavity is just below the larger cavity and in front of abdomen there is abdominal muscles and rectus muscles you can see in the thorax the pressure increases and this pressure reaches up to positive of 80 millimeter mercury which is more but intrapleural pressure at uh, the expiration minus 4 and the inspiration minus 7 but in the valsal bulb maneuver intrapleural space pressure increases and it becomes positive so here our final answer is during the valsalva maneuver because at the end of the expiration intrapleural space pressure minus 4 millimeter mercury at the end of the inspiration it is minus 7 millimeter of mercury and if the patient have tracheostomy usually no changes in intrapleural pressure it all uh, in case of tracheostomy uh, patient the conducting zone area is reduced but other area are present and other areas um, works normally when taking deep breath when the patient taking deep breath it is the deep inspiration in the inspiration it becomes negative 
so in the deep inspiration it becomes more more negative so it may be minus 20 it may be minus 30 so it is more negative not positive so when taking deep breath it become more negative and if patient tracheostomy there is no changes in the intrapolar pressure it also changes the conducting zone uh, due to obstruction in the upper part of the respiratory system it bypass only so our final answer during valsalva maneuver during valsalva maneuver chest intrathoracic pressure increases and intrapolar pressure also increases so stay tuned with the channel by subscribe thank you